Number four is market updates. Now, in general, market updates, they're pretty boring, right? They can be long, drawn out. Nobody's going to dedicate five minutes to watching a market update video. They're just not going to do that. If they click on a video and it's like four minutes and 58 seconds, they're clicking back out, you know, unless they're really close to making a decision on buying or selling, they might watch that. Um, better is if you can be 60 seconds, maybe two minutes if you're doing it by yourself. If you have a partner, three minutes, absolute maximum. Like ideally, you don't even want the number three at the beginning, right? You want it to be like two minutes and 57 seconds maximum or whatever, you know? So because people, the, you know, we, uh, somebody asked earlier about the, the timeline or, you know, the videos, how long should a video be for Facebook? And the reality is people are not on Facebook to learn anything, right? People are on Facebook to be entertained and connect and stuff and daydream through other people's stories. And so they're not going to dedicate five minutes to listening to your market update unless they're really close to making a decision. So having it be shorter, the shorter your video, the more people are going to watch the video, right? Think about how, and this is, you know, I don't know the answer to this right now for you, but how important is it for you that people watch the video all the way to the end. Will they get all the value if they only watch 50% of the video? Will they get value if they only watch 25%? Right, you gotta think about that because you know, people hit click when they hit start, right? How many of them are you gonna keep all the way to the end? And the shorter the video, the more people you're gonna get to the end that are gonna get to hear whatever message and communication that you're trying to transfer over to them, right? But if you can't even get people to watch the video, it's like a waste of your effort and a waste of your time. So just keep that in mind, right? It's like these classes, okay? A perfect example. I know that about one hour is around the threshold for most people. Like after one hour of listening to me talk and these slides and stuff, people start to daydream, go off in la-la land, you know, and you just have to recognize that, right? Which is, and you got to do the same thing with, with your videos. Try to keep them short and sweet to the point, right? I like to just talk about three points of interest. What are three things people need to know right now? If you talk about five things people need to know, it's almost too much. Even in this case, right? With five different video ideas, it's almost like how you're going to pick between the five. Which one are you going to go do first? And I, you know, you got to kind of decide that. And we're going to do one. We're going to, you know, we're going to shoot a video together in a second. But um, in this case, right? Some examples, the price per square foot, the best zip codes, average days on the market. Um, you know, you can talk about anything that people need to know about, right? What's the hottest selling neighborhood or any of these kind of things that you want people to, to know about the market today. Um, also, make sure you give a call to action at the end of the video. People say they don't like to be told what to do, but marketing and advertising definitely proves otherwise. And you have to tell people what to do, okay? You have to tell them what you want them to do. Hey, thanks for watching this two-minute update. Here's what's next, right? If you want to know something specific about your property, I would love to provide that information for you. Shoot me a message. Let's get a chat started, figure out what's next and uh, have a great one, right? Or, hey, if you want to talk about your specific home or any specific questions and needs that you have, feel free to call me at such and such. But if you're already on social media, you might as well just keep it on social media. That's kind of my feeling. Um, you don't have to have your phone number everywhere, right, anymore. There's a lot of ways to, to talk to people outside of the phone. Although I recognize voice talking is better than text talking as a general statement, right? You're going to get more communication through voice than you are through, through text only. So um, I recognize old school sellers, you know, they, they want to do, you know, they want to get on the phones, right? And, and I'm, I'm kind of the same way in, in some cases, but if somebody, you know, always give the option for people to stay on the platform that they're on today. And, and you want to partner with, a, you know, a lender, right? Get with the, your syndicate leader, the guy you on this call today, and they would be a perfect person to do this update with you once a month, right? You shoot the update once a month. You can drop it on Facebook. You can send it out to your email list. You could post it as a blog post on your website if you wanted to. You know, there's a lot of different things you can do with that video. But having the mortgage side and the real estate side is going to make your update better. It's going to make it more comprehensive and it's going to apply to everybody um, regardless of where they are. If they are thinking about refinancing or getting an investment property, buying a new house, selling a house, right? If you have the real estate and the mortgage side, you're going to be able to cover, you're going to be able to cover everything that people are going to look for, everything they're going to look for in a market update. Let me see. I saw something come through here. This is good. Oh, thanks, Rob. Appreciate you, man. Four is real estate market updates. 
A lot of them are boring. Yours is not going to be boring. You're going to do it with a lender. So you cover both sides, ideally cover that in two minutes. If you could make a two minute market update, you and a mortgage officer, man, that's a killer video. If you have to go three minutes, try to go like two minutes, 57 seconds, not three minutes. So you get more people to actually watch the video, finish the content, you know, be able to consume all your communication versus only getting a portion of it because they give up.